cross, paying the ultimate sacrifice for our sins, paying the penalty for our sins. You died and you rose again for us. You were the ultimate sacrifice, a blood sacrifice for us that if we believe in you and believe in the one who sent you, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Israel, that if we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we accept you as our Lord and Savior, we get the gift of salvation. We get the gift of receiving the Holy Spirit. We get the gift of healing. We get the gift of being able to be set free from things that have held us in bondage for our whole life. There are so many gifts that we receive. We have access to the kingdom of heaven. Thank you, Lord, for giving us access to you, God to come to you in prayer and have a relationship with you, Father, where you can heal us, where you can set us free from everything, where we can come to you in tears, God. We can come to you in tears. Sometimes we can come, we go to people in our tears. We go to people in our brokenness. We go to people longing for someone to understand us and to hear our pain and a lot of times people will turn that on us and think we're weak and they turn as ammunition on us they use it as ammunition against us when we go to people in our weakness when we go to people in tears when we go to people in our brokenness they don't get it they don't understand and they don't help us but it's you that helps us our lord god you love us in our weakness Lord God, you love us in our brokenness. Lord God, you love us when we come to you a complete wreck. When we come to you a complete mess. When we come to you in our craziness, in our brokenness, in our in our horrible state that we're in. When we, we can be homeless, we can be broken, we can be in our worst state. And you love us. You love when we come to you in tears. You love us, Father. You love us when we come to you in brokenness. You love when we come to you in absolute mess. Oh, Father, thank you for accepting us. God, you heal us in that state. You heal us in our humbleness. You heal us in our brokenness. You bless us when we cry out to you in snotty tears it doesn't matter when we come to you that way you love it you love it you don't want us to put on a front you don't want us to act like we've got it all together like we're strong enough and we're good enough no you say just come to me where however you are wherever you are come to me and i will give you rest thank you lord Thank you, Father. Thank you for allowing us to come to you. No matter what state we're in, we can come to you and receive rest. We can come to you and receive peace. We can come to you and receive strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Every time we come to you with tears, you turn those tears into oil. You turn those tears into the oil of the joy of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, you are good. You are holy. You are worthy. You deserve all praise, God. You deserve the honor, God. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the glory. Yours is the power. You deserve it all, God. You deserve it all. Oh, Lord, you are good, and thank you for sending Jesus Christ. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior and has defeated the enemy. We declare that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, and we accept him as our Lord and Savior. Oh, Lord, thank you. 
thank you, thank you, thank you for your word. Thank you for the word that guides us, the word of truth. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us and guiding us through your word. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. I submit to the Holy Spirit. We submit to the Holy Spirit. We submit to the word of God. We declare that we have the mind of Christ. We declare that we have the the character of Christ. We declare that we have the emotions of Christ. We will not be led by our our emotions. We will not be led by our feelings. We will not be led by our worldliness. We will not be led by our pride. We break that pride in Jesus' name. We will be led by the Holy Spirit. No other spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for setting us free. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I just pray that you will just search our hearts right now. Search our hearts. If there is anything in our mind, in our hearts, in our will, in our emotions, reveal it to us right now, God, so we can repent of it. Thank you for allowing us the ability to just repent. And you forgive us. You forgive us and you don't even keep a record of wrongs when we just come to you in repentance and we let things go. We need to let go of you. Heal us and you forgive us. Thank you, Lord. I know that our our bodies are temples. And there are many rooms in the temple, just like Solomon's temple. He had like 90 rooms. And there were rooms for special purposes, there was rooms for storing things, there were side rooms, there was a basement, attic, different levels. Our bodies are a temple. And God, I know that we may have different rooms in our mind, in our will, in our emotions, in our body. I pray, Lord, that you will turn on the lights in every room, in our mind, in our body, in our thoughts, in our will, in our emotions. Turn on the lights, Lord. Expose the enemy. If there was a broken window somewhere, a crack in in our temple where the enemy may have gotten in to influence us in our ways that we act, in our behaviors, in our actions. Lord, we want your light to shine in. We want your light to shine in us. Turn on the lights, Lord. Reveal to us what we need, what needs to be exposed so you can heal us, God, so you can get the enemy out of our minds, out of our actions, out of our emotions. Search us, God. Search us, God. I pray right now, Lord, that you will reveal to us what we need to repent of. Please just speak to us, Lord. Speak to us. Father, today in this prayer, I just want to focus on repenting of pride. Father, as Americans and even sometimes globally, I feel like we are overcome with pride in today's time. And Lord, I know that you don't want us to have pride to wear because that's when we put faith in ourselves. We put faith in our strength in our ability, in our, everything that we do is is selfish. Father, you want us to humble ourselves, and you actually elevate the humble. You bring the pride low, and you elevate the humble. Father, help us to, to be like Christ, and he was humble. Lord, I pray that you break the pride off of us. Break the pride, God. Help us to let go of the worldliness. Help us to let go of the selfish desires we have and and always wanting to please ourselves and live life for ourselves. That's not the way of God. We repent of that, God. We repent for having trust in ourselves, in our own strength. Lord, we repent of that right now in Jesus' name. 
We repent of our pride and we reject that prideful spirit in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to be humble. I'm going to read some scripture verses that have to do with breaking a prideful spirit. And Lord, I pray that as I read your word and I say these declarations and this prayer that is reading scripture, I pray, Lord, that you will break the pride off of us and we will be set free from things that we need to be set free from in Jesus' name. May the Lord ruin the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem. I break the pride of Moab. It shall no longer be proud of its haughtiness, pride and wrath. The lies it speaks will not be so. Thank you, Lord, that you turn me from my deeds and conceal my pride from me so that my soul may be kept back from the pit and my life from perishing by the sword. Lord, I break the spirit of pride. Please answer when I cry out, Lord. I rebuke the shame that comes from a spirit of pride in Jesus' name. I come against strife that comes with the spirit of pride. I break the spirit of pride so that I will not fall and be destroyed. I break the spirit of pride. It will not bring us low. We will have a humble spirit in Jesus' name. Pride will not serve as, a, as our necklace, nor will violence cover us like a garment. We will not be puffed up with pride and fall into the same condemnation as the devil. In Jesus' mighty name, we break pride off of our life in the name of Jesus. We will not stumble in our iniquities like Israel, Ephraim, and Judah. The, the spirit of pride will not rule us. We shall not be desolate in the day of rebuke. The spirit of pride will not cause us to be scattered. The Lord is above the spirit of the proud. Hear and give ear, spirit of pride, the Lord has spoken. The proud spirit of Ephraim and the inhabitant of Samaria will not speak in Jesus' name. I command the spirit of pride to cease its persecution of the poor. Let that spirit be caught in the plots it has de devised. Let not the foot of pride come against us, and let not the hand of the wicked drive us away in Jesus' name. The Lord will cut off the pride of the Philistine. I break the pride of your power. I will make your heavens like iron and your earth like bronze. Let the pride of Moab be cut off at the root. For he is exceedingly proud of his loftiness, arrogance, pride, and the haughtiness of the heart. Let the pride of Israel be broken in the name of Jesus. Let them not testify to his face and then go on not returning to the Lord their God. Lord, bring dishonor to the spirit of pride and bring into contempt all of the honorable of the earth. We fear the Lord. Therefore, we hate evil, we hate pride, we hate arrogance and the evil way. We hate the perverse mouth. We love what is good, we cling to what is good, we cling to what is godly. Lord, help us to hate what you hate and love what you love. We break the spirit of pride off of our life in Jesus' name, for it is not of the Father, but it is of this world. We will not be wise in our own eyes. Let the crown of pride, the drunkard of Ephraim, be trampled underfoot in Jesus' name. Like a swimmer reaches out to swim, Lord, spread out your hands in the midst and bring down the prideful in their trickery. Like King Hezekiah, let prideful leaders humble themselves so that the wrath of the Lord does not come upon the people. Let the pride of our heart Oh, Lord, let the pride of our heart not deceive us. Oh, Father, let the pride of our hearts not deceive us in Jesus' name. We have been brought low to the ground. Lord, help us to humble ourselves. Help us to humble ourselves, Lord. 
Let the pride of our hearts not deceive us, Lord. Let the pride of the Jordan be brought to ruins. The proud in heart are an abomination to the Lord. Lord, let us not be proud. Break the pride off of us, God. Break the pride off of us, God. Let us not be displeasing to you, Lord. Break the pride off of us, Lord. The Lord abhors the pride of Jacob and hates his palaces. Let all their cities and everything in them be given to their enemies. And Lord, that was Amos 6.8. I'm reading from the Old Testament in those. We know that Jesus Christ came to save us from destruction. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for Jesus Christ. We don't want destruction in anyone's life. We don't want to pay back evil for evil. We want blessings on everyone's life. And I pray, God, that because we have the power and authority of Jesus Christ in us, and you will forgive us for our sins when we just surrender to Jesus Christ and allow him to be Lord and Savior of our lives, and we follow Christ, you prevent us from destruction because we know that when we have a prideful spirit, Lord, when we that opens up the door to the enemy. The enemy cannot mess with us. The enemy cannot torment us. The enemy cannot take us down when we close the door to him. When we close the door to the spiritual realm of darkness, we have the ability to do that with Jesus Christ. So we reject the things that are not of God. We reject pride. We close the door to the enemy because we reject pride. And with that, with repentance, with rejecting the things that are not of God, we receive protection, we receive healing, we receive the power and authority of Jesus Christ to protect us and to cover us and to heal us and to be in the presence of the Lord. Let those who rejoice in their pride Come to repentance. Let those who hold on to worldliness and pride feel conviction and come to repentance and come to the Lord. Father, we want to humble ourselves before you. We don't want to have to be humbled because we opened the door to the enemy through pride or through holding on to things of the world that are selfish and bringing ourselves up high and bringing our strength up like we did it all. No, we humble ourselves before you, God. We humble ourselves because we know it's not by our might, not by our strength, not by our power, but it's by your spirit, God. Anybody who claims to be a Christian, anybody who claims to be a follower of Christ, We know that it's not us. It's not us that does anything to help the kingdom, to to advance the kingdom, to help people be free. We don't have that power ourselves. It's by your power. It's by the Holy Spirit. We're vessels. We're just vessels. The more time we spend with you, God, in prayer, the more oil you pour on us of anointings, the more you fill us with the Holy Spirit. But God, we just recognize right now, sometimes we can get caught up in our own self in thinking that we can do this all by ourselves, and we're helping people and we've got great things in our lives and, and we're doing good. But God, it's because you are good that we are good. It's because you are strong that we are strong. It's by your Holy Spirit that gives us power. Break the pride off of us, God. Break the spirit of pride off of us. We cast it out now in Jesus' name. We tell pride to go, to get out and do not return. And I pray, God, that you will fill us with the spirit of humbleness. Humble us, God. Lord, I pray that you fill us with the spirit of humbleness. I pray that you fill us with the fruits of the Spirit. 
Lord, fill us with love. Fill us with compassion. Fill us with joy, the everlasting joy, the joy of the Lord. We know that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Fill us with the joy of the Lord. Father, fill us with patience. Fill us with kindness. Fill us with self-control. Father, fill us with the fruits of the Spirit. And clothe us with a garment of praise. Father, help us to love people like you love us. Help us to forgive people like you forgave us. It's a command to forgive. So let there be no unforgiveness in our heart, Lord. Father, I pray you break any unforgiveness off of us in Jesus' name. We bind the enemy in Jesus' name. We reject evil. We reject unforgiveness. We reject bitterness. We reject resentment. We reject anger. We reject a spirit of vengeance. We cast all those those things out and we pray that you replace us with a garment of praise. We pray, God, that you strengthen our armor. Lord, give us the helmet of salvation. Lord, give us a breastplate of righteousness. Lord, give us a shield of faith to put up and put out those flaming arrows the enemy shoots at us on a regular basis. We have that shield of faith so those arrows don't reach us. Those attacks cannot penetrate through that armor. Thank you, Jesus, for the shield of faith. Lord, give us the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word, the Word of God, and it's the Spirit of truth. That is the sword that you have given us to fight the battles well. Lord, give us the feet that are fitted with the readiness of the gospel. Lord, thank you for the good news that we can tell people of Jesus Christ the good news of the fullness of the gospel, that we receive salvation, that we receive healing, that we receive being set free. We receive freedom, freedom from bondage, freedom from addiction, freedom from things that held us down our whole life. But in Jesus Christ, we have the fullness of the gospel if we just surrender it all. Lord, we surrender it all. We surrender it all. We leave it at your feet. We lift it up to you, and we pray that you take our burdens. Take our burdens from us, God. Lord, we lift the heaviness in our lives up to you. We lift it up, God, and we pray you take it. You say, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So help us to stop carrying our own burdens in our own strength. And help us just to take Jesus. (laughs) We receive Jesus. He takes those burdens from us and he makes everything light. Thank you, Jesus. We, We give you everything. We lift it all up to you. We pray you take our burdens. Take all of the characteristics away from us that are not of you, God. We want nothing in us that's not of you. Thank you, Lord, for taking our burdens. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the blood shed on the cross. Lord, we receive any gifts you want to give us. And we will use it for your purpose and your glory and your kingdom. Lord, fill us afresh with the Holy Spirit. Fill us till we're overflowing. Help us to operate in the Holy Spirit. Help us to be led by the Holy Spirit, not by our feelings, not by our emotions. We will be led by the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come to you in prayer and just release our burdens to you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you. Help us.
Help us to live our life for you, God, for your purpose. And I pray, God, that you will show us your calling that you have on our life. And we will live and walk in that calling and run in that calling and live our lives on fire for Christ and spreading that fire. Lord, that is what brings lasting joy. That is what brings lasting happiness and purpose. Thank you, Lord. And I pray that you will just continue to reveal us your purpose in our life and help us to walk in it. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time of prayer. Thank you for this time of just welcoming welcoming us into your presence, into your kingdom. Help us to remember that we are children of a king, the king of kings and lord of lords. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us into your kingdom. And I pray you will just help us to walk with the armor of God and not to take our armor off. Help us to walk in Christ. Help us to walk in the light and walk in the life of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. We say all these things, we lift it all up to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.